All right, so now we have to go go travel to the memory marker, which I believe it should take us to a church or an abbey. Go ride there. Or maybe not. Nope. It, uh, we get to talk to Mario again. Oh, I want to get off the horse. Thank you. Okay. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? Okay, I guess we don't have to go to the Abbey yet. <laughs> Fine. Sweet, it's night time. And, uh... We'll follow Mario. San Gimiano. <laughs> All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gates. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Gave us throw knives. The fun. Now the fun beer really begins. Oh, and you're dead. Almost got me. Okay. Should be at least one more guard. Goes to kill. Okay. You're dead. I got sword. Direct. Let's begin the fight. The fight for San Giamano. They're just getting wrecked. Go and enter the city. Well done, we are in. This way, man. This way, man. Follow Mario. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Pierre. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. All right, sounds good. No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? A signal again when you should follow. All right, boys, let's dance. Target killed. Probably about to be dead. Yep, there we go. Awesome. Dead. Three more. Just two more. You bloodied up. Bloody, bloody, really good. Yeah, what I was in there. Get to Santa Maria Santa Sunta. There's a viewpoint here. Let's go do that. Let's see here. 
somewhere around here. Yeah, there's another ledge. Synchronization. I think we just have to take the city, and then, then I believe we have to do something else. Like, I think we have to kill another target or something. Maybe. Possibly. Let's see, where is this? Where's this stupid poster at? Oh, it's right here. I like how just removing a page on poster where pretty much nobody can see it, pretty much eliminates your notoriety. Kind of weird. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. All right. Hang on, Mario. I am coming, my brother. Or uncle, I should say. I'll go kill these guards here. Well, yeah, maybe let's go. Maybe let's go find Vieri. Well, not so much for getting rid of the notoriety. Pretty much, I'm pretty much. I'm back to back to almost quarter of quarter of it. Let's tear it off. Uh, supposedly, as I mentioned before in a couple of videos before this, pretty much, pretty much we can get checked in possibly sometime on the 31st for my new apartment, pretty much with my roommate. I mean, I'm pretty. I'm actually really excited about it too. But it's not that I don't. It's not that I don't enjoy living where I'm at. It's pretty much at the current moment. But it's the walls are pretty thin. It's set. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize all forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we've finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide. May the Father of Understanding guide. Understanding guide. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. <laughs> like how the guard says that, pretty much. After those Templar guards, pretty much. Or those Templars, pretty much. Went out of their way. So it was kind of funny. I was found that kind of funny to me, I guess. Oh, you know, I'm gonna go kill one of your leaders, and I'm pretty much not gonna die because of you guys. No matter how hard you try. There you go. You're dead. All right, come here, Vieri. Vieri, your time. Your time of reckoning has come, and you shall perish. Let's go dispatch this one guard here. You're dead. Alright, Vieri. 
time to dance. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Oh, you're dead. Finally. That prick is dead. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che pro... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Yeah, Ezio. Calm down. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Okay. Another con con conspirator down. Yeah, another codex page found. Looks like pretty much the conspirators that we have now are uh, Francesco Di Pazzi, Jacopo Di Pazzi, uh, and then there was uh, the ringleader uh, Rodrigo Borgia. Which, if you've ever read history books, you'll obviously definitely know quite a bit about him, especially in papal history. And, uh, here he drinking. Is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, it's Funny. Walk with you. Yes, uncle. All right. Let's go see what's inside the bookcase. Follow Mario. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free, but not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Pieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. 
Act as you see fit on the information I've given you. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. Okay. So, obviously, Vieri de Pazzi was not quite as, uh, as a bully that uh, most people thought. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes, your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. <laughs> Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. We start with the page I took from Vieri. Leonardo would decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits and we'll add it to the wall. Okay, so now we have to go find the codex page, the codex page that is somewhere, somewhere around here. Fortunately, game pretty much has to force you to go up to this viewpoint here, even though we already found it. It's <laughs> annoying. Is of you all over again. <laughs> all right, there's the codex page somewhere down down that way. Let's see, yep, that's right there. Wow, and you stand on top of it. Cool. Okay, there's one. Where's the other? There were three. So those two there in the city. There's one out in the country. So let's go. Let's go do the next one that's close by. And we'll go out to the country and then we'll do that final one. Again, keep forgetting to press <laughs> press and hold B. Kind of, kind of weird. It's kind of weird like that. All right, let's go get on a horse, horsey. Go over that. Okay. Weird game. Okay. Ride, ride like the wind. And probably if I if I do get the treasure maps, I'll probably try to do that off camera. And because there is a lot of them. Pretty much not just in Florence, but there's quite a few in 
Tuscany. Um, what was the name of this place here? Mont Montrioni. And stuff. And then there's a couple other places too. That I cannot remember off the top of my head. I think uh, one of them is possibly Venice. But that's just me. I don't even know for sure. That's like kind of sucks that we can't take the core, take the horse into the city. Yeah, there's one right, right over yonder. Okay, thanks. I think uh, I think that's you. Good to know that you like climbing and jumping on walls. Yep, there we go again, and there we go again. Go check on Claudia. Then we'll go talk to Mario. And then go see what other secrets have been found. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. <laughs> very well. Alright, so this is pretty much uh, pretty much a summary of just about everything that Ezio has done in the game. Pretty much, pretty much that. Pretty much that chest on the top of the screen. Pretty much is the chest that's right behind Claudia. And that's pretty much... Pretty much the 157 florins is pretty much deposited into the chest every 20 minutes of gameplay. And the chest capacity is 629. And there's a little bit of. There's a foreman. One John. There's something wrong. Yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? And then we'd be in business. You must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? Uncle! I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can spell my... If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Cool, so what can we... So what can we raise up here? See, restoring the well. Uh, Thieves Guild. Military barracks. 
And we'll probably do the church. That costs money to do. As a blacksmith, and those that's pretty much expensive. So let's go ahead and confirm. Let's, uh, let's add art merchant there, and that should pretty much add a little bit of value to the city. And do the bank as well. So there's the doctor already. Yeah, let's do tailor. Open a tailor shop. Let's see, and do a brothel. Awesome. Buon viaggio. Cool. And that pretty much just added about ten thousand to the value of Montgioni. Monterrioni. Something like that. 